Hey, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today we're going to take a look into this new version of Big Linux. Right now it's 2024, the mid-year. And of course it is now officially released for the kernel 6.6 this May 2024 with Big Linux. As you can see, I am using the Big Linux. You could see the logo right there on the show apps or the start menu button. And let me show you what is my operating system right now. As you can see, it is new interface. So this is my Big Linux based in Manjaro Linux. So as you can see, it is now in Plasma version 6.0.4. So this is now the stable version of the Plasma KDE version. Together with the kernel, this is now the stable 6.6 .6 kernel version. So it's basically everything is in stable version before it was like, how do I say this one? It was uh, really struggling, especially I have the KDE Neon Plasma 6 operating system. I experienced a lot of bugs, a lot of bugs. After two weeks, everything was in place everything was all right so i was like relieved to know that everything was already okay so right now the big linux already adapted and just a few days ago it was updated right here so right now i'm up to date your system is up to date as i click right now of course don't forget your super secret password when you open everything right here in our operating system so as you can see when it is now updated like before it when it was launched wow i have a lot of bug fixes but in big linux they didn't update it yet until it was stable so it was in april when they officially launched the kernel 6.6 .6. so Right now, we are now having some updates. Let's update our system. As you can see, my Firefox from 125 to 126 and my Chromium also uh, 124 to 125. That is cool. Right now, the widget is now awesome, right? It is not like before when it was like having some bugs. It is really bugs. So when I click the add widgets, we have a lot of widgets to download from the new kernel and plasma. So major update has been applied at the same time. So let's continue. Uh, I'll go for the breeze dark. And of course, I'll go still with the... Okay, let me reboot later. So it is now updating even the Ventoy. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this is the second... I think this is just in. Because I updated uh, just a while ago and it hasn't given me the major update. Right now, it gave me a major update and then my desktop is now right here. So I have to move this one. The position will be right here. So this is new update. So, wow. Okay, this is much better. This is live while I'm recording this and it is now eventually like building the new scripts the new update so this is not like windows that you are forced to reboot as soon as possible this one you could wait like everything will be loaded and then you can click reboot it doesn't mean like windows that you could like just restart everything without saying like to choose from this one you could choose you can close this one maybe i will just wait like in windows you don't have the option to close you just have the only option to restart but of course i just gonna close this one just to let you know and see how easy is the linux and 
please don't be like the close-minded people that Linux is hard no see did I go to the terminal no it is much easier than Windows this is Manjaro it is based in Arch and by the way I'm using Arch <laughs> I could like refresh and then restart I don't have any problems with that one now I'm up to date as right now so I could like close this one and then proceed to the recording so that is the latest big update right here in big Linux base in Manjaro Arch and this is live as you can see this is live I'm recording it right now so update is adjust okay let's just close that one I'll just want to restart later okay how about change the Ooh, okay I still have those stuff right here the desktop wallpapers awesome wallpapers so as you can see I have a lot of wallpapers not like Windows you are like limited in Linux you have all those stuff without any downloads <laughs> okay you you could also download by getting new downloads right here see where is my cat oh the fussy aliens so as you can see this is my wallpaper okay there you have it I have my wallpaper and of course my widget oh no I have to bring it back widget so I need to type in the clock so let's try to look for the clock after my update it was like gone okay there it is so as you can see you could like have all of those stuff right here right so this one was my old version and this one too now I have the new version yay so let's click the clock the vector clock alright so we could like move this one oops on the side alright so we have now our clock back let's try to see what are these uh, updates uh, right now so as you can see we still have all those stuff and where is my oh no I think I need to bring back all those stuff so I still have all those stuff right here so I just need to bring back all of my uh, favorites right here and this one will be on my okay let me go to this one first on the task including this one on the task alright we have all those stuff right now so we could like move that one oh yeah how about my audio my multimedia okay how about this one I need that one also this one my KDE live alright so I have the audio video and screen recording how about now I just gonna oh yeah how about my Canva I need to put it on my favorites how about photo P also in my favorites how about my Google so as you can see everything is right here you don't need to have like struggling and then it is highly customizable you can change everything whatever you want and then this will be with the percentage so I don't need a third party to adjust everything I just need to just click and change no need to download a sketchy application 
so that is why Linux is so easy Linux is just completely the opposite when everyone is like telling you this is hard no Linux is very easy you can do whatever you want you just point and click they say that Linux is a terminal yes there will be terminal with the Windows and Mac I do it all the time so don't ever tell me that there's no terminal base in Windows there's no terminal base in Mac every computer has a terminal base so the desktop UI you can always move this one from one side to another like I want to put it back right there in the bottom or maybe on the side or maybe at the top or maybe at the other side I could just transparent translucent floating at the same time yes I could do that always visible on the center yes and the height is maximum yes even the icon panel size width I could like make it like 32 you can also click the uh, the shortcut if you wanted to like you want to have the shortcut like the super key yeah you can do that so let's go to the appearance yes I uh, let you show you the appearance you can add right here you can add with a lot of pictures right here I like this one I could like add and then apply everything is all set even the wallpapers you have a lot of wallpapers to choose from it is like 200 plus wallpapers you can choose whatever you want you can add you can download from the official not the sketchy website it is the official website so that is how easy Linux is Google Google has the easiest operating system it's still based in Linux kernel all of our mobile devices most of them except for Windows are all based in Linux your tablets your cell phones even your cars your car stereos your car entertainment system that's Linux the whole website are Linux so don't tell me that you don't know how to use Linux okay the application let me show you the application so as you can see we could have like the all categories right here or you can basically just go each of this like I have the Chrome applications I have the developer I have the virtual you also have the games graphics internet I have so many web browsers okay <laughs> how about the multimedia yes I'm also having a lot of multimedia from the simple screen recorder to the open broadcast software studio the KDE linear editor or the Kden live as we call it the audacity for our audio editing for our video playback we have the VLC yes that is Linux you are using it in your Windows VLC is a Linux app how about this one we have the LibreOffice oh yeah how about how to download okay let's just go to the discover that is the app center or you could like type in right here at the top on the search button let's just say app okay let's just launch this one the discover the app center or the app store so we have a lot right here oh by the way do we have Krita no I didn't download Krita so let's try to download Krita ah it is here so let's click this one Krita so install from flat hub so let's click this one now it's showing 1% 2% so let's go back to our home right here we could like look for more how about let's look for Spotify do you have Spotify yes we could like listen to our favorite music online okay 
how to download Spotify in Linux? Just look for it right here on the search button or the search bar. And then when you have the software already, the Spotify, just click download. Let's try to look for another like Google Earth. Okay, let's type Google Earth. So we have also Google Chrome right here. Google Earth. Oh, wow. Google is Linux. So let's click Google Earth. Okay, so we are trying to download Google Earth just click download let's look for more if you're wondering the shrek movie or the scooby-doo movie was made yes i will tell you that it is using blender and they use linux blender is a free and open source 3d creation suite it support entirely in 3d pipeline modeling rigging animation see so all those stuff right here if you want to learn about graphics designing well you need to use blender okay let's try to look for more how about stellarium i like stellarium it is my star maps this is when i teach stars and mappings of the skies okay let's try to click now let's download Stellarium. So it is now downloading. See? You can add web apps. That is how easy Linux is. How about the scanner? Just plug in your scanner and then it will just scan. Not like Windows, you need the adapter. Why? Because all those devices are Linux. Your scanner, your printer are Linux. That's why when you use Windows, you need the installer or the driver because it will convert that from Linux printer or scanner to your Windows. So conclusion on this update, it is very awesome. It is not hard, completely easy. You can make it like a Mac or Windows, whatever you want. The learning curve right here in big Linux operating system, very easy. Even my graders, my students in different grade, from grade 5, grade 6, even grade 2, they all use my Linux laptop and they don't have any problems. Why? They just point and click and it's done. You don't need to have like crazy stuff like in Windows. So that is my conclusion. As you can see, my battery is not like draining like in Windows. <laughs> in Windows, my battery drains so fast. Especially I have the gaming laptop. It is a high performance laptop, which is the Aspire 7. So that's how we update and the latest version of the big Linux kernel operating system. I'm Blair, your science teacher. If you have some question, feel free to ask me. Write it in the comments down below. And if you want to learn about Linux, just subscribe to my channel. I'll let you know if you have some question how to use this application. It's just like Mac. I'm also teaching Mac because Mac and Linux are cousins. They're the same, only the kernel. I think the kernel is just only just a little different, but they're all the same. So if you have some question, of course, feel free to ask me. Write it in the comments down below. You can reach me in Facebook, YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget, I have also my Odyssey and Rumble. So this is Blair, your science and computer teacher, and at the same time, they're your mathematics teacher in KKU, the Konkan University Demonstration School for International Division. Bye for now and see you in the next episode. And remember that science means knowing. That is why science is cool. Ciao!